Cuba's history has been full of regime changes from Spanish hands to American hands to a republic's hands to that of General Batista to the republic, then to Batista, then republic, and then... Uh, well, I think you're getting the point now. It was common occurrence for the military to step in during times of trouble, big or small. This would culminate to create the Communist Party of Cuba with Fidel Castro and Che Guevara as leaders of the revolution. In our timeline, upon hearing the act of rebellion, Batista would flee the country and the communist government would be installed, barely showing any sign of ending during the time of making this video. But what if Fidel hadn't seized control of Cuba? This would only happen if the military didn't back down and had fired back onto the communist fighters. This would of course cause a civil war which the US and Soviet intervention would be immediate and we could see Dwight D. Eisenhower begin immediate boots on the ground intervention as it was common with his fight against communism, especially in South America and Central America. Fidel and Che would both be exiled out of Cuba where they would flee to Central America and try and start rebellions there. Batista would most likely be ousted as his role was fairly weak and America would install a more stronger leadership it's hard to say as america didn't really care what happened to these types of government as long as they were compliant occupation of cuba would last likely until kennedy is elected when he would likely try and set up a more liberal government albeit for the cold war time this change in leadership in cuba would change many things outside of cuba without castro causing troubles in cuba in this timeline there'd be both no bay of pigs and no missile crisis Instead, JFK would be significantly more popular in his early years without these failures to the point where we might even see a cooling of tensions following the tank standoff, which would most likely still happen in this timeline. Although this wouldn't be the end of JFK's troubles as Castro would instead go around Central America to stir conflict there instead, just as Che did in Africa in his latter years, leading to plots against the local puppet republics in the area with CIA intervention not being enough. The situation in Central America can possibly get bad enough around the same time as the midterms, causing JFK to turn his focus on the area. In this timeline, JFK would be more preoccupied in handling the red threat in Central America, and this might even cause JFK to back off North Vietnam and focus on the more local threat, which would see the downfall of the South almost immediately. We would see limited intervention with mostly air support and economic support against rebels, but just as are in our timeline, JFK would be a little more cautious in using the military, just as he was in Vietnam shortly before his death. But if there were to be any boots on the ground, it would most likely be more in the Panama region. Whether this would actually happen is up for debate, but Castro and Che would become major threats in the region, causing a whole manhunt for them alone. By the time the elections would roll around, we can see LBJ go on the fateful trip to Dallas instead of JFK as a rising red threat in the South would mean most Southern voters have become a little bit angry at JFK, which fair enough. Nearly just like our timeline, we would see more sympathy votes after the assassination, which would rise his popularity temporarily. But without the influence of LBJ in Congress, we would never see the civil rights bill succeed like it had in our timeline. And many other bills could be shot down in similar fashion, as many in Congress disliked JFK, and he didn't have the ability to push a bill like Johnson had when it came to the Congress. It's entirely likely that Kennedy would still win his second term in a landslide just like LBJ had, but throughout his second term he would be faced with the fall of South Vietnam, a crisis in South America spilling out of control, and he would fail to pass major civil rights bills, fail to successfully fight back the communists, leading to the fateful year in which Richard Nixon would run once more for president leading to a sweeping victory following the downfall of the Kennedy administration. Without the war in Vietnam, we could see a lack of controversy given the main problems of Nixon's original administration was centered around the Vietnam War. And at this point, we could see a majority of Central America between Mexico and Pena be falling to communist control in a domino effect due to the previous administration's failure. Nixon would have a strong hand policy to undermine these newly established governments, striking at the center of it all. One of these first to have fallen to communism would be Nicaragua, the heart of communism threat for Nixon. The new leader of the Soviet Union, Brezhnev, would preemptively station equipment for missiles in the Americas, having learned of the missiles in Turkey. 
And upon finding out about this, the Nixon administration would completely lose their minds and would move to strike Nicaragua before it's too late, sending several bombers over and Marines in a last-ditch effort to stop the hostile move from the Soviets. Two of the most hotheads of the Cold War were now facing off at the moment of international crisis and had led the world to the brink. In a last-ditch effort, one missile would be fired in the midst of the attack on Nicaragua and the missile would be picked up and the retaliation would begin. That's clearly the end of that scenario. Uh, if you liked it, feel free to leave a like, and if you had an idea for a scenario or you thought this scenario could have gone a different direction, let me know in the comments. I read them all. Feel free to subscribe, and I know my schedule has been spotty lately, but I'm hoping to get more regular posts out more and more, and hopefully we can get back to the original Country Balls versions of doing these videos. And, but until then, uh, thanks for watching.